Inside the Mind of Sydney Anderson, Making a Big Circle. Next. My biography. I've traveled to London and Paris, and the connection to engineering there is that I want to feel connected to the world. I'm a gold awardee, as well as a lifetime member Girl Scout. The connection there is that I like a challenge. I'm also a pianist as well as a golfer because I like to be meticulous, and I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I like to be creative. And of course, I have a passion for science, specifically chemistry. Next. A proton in a world of electrons. As I have a passion for science, that's how I like to describe myself. And this timeline here delineates all the landmark moments of that passion of science. In 2008, I entered my first science fair, as well as started watching Mr. Diagnosis, which would spark my interest in genetic disorders and diseases. In 2011, I decided to pursue the field of engineering. In 2012, I entered a science fair with the topic of medicine, specifically antacids. In 2015, I pursued a lot of activities that related to science and mathematics, such as a 12-hour math modeling competition, summer physics camp, as well as creating a STEM camp for underprivileged youth in my area. In 2016, I came to Pitt. Next. So why is engineering the best fit for me? Well, it aligns with my goal. I want to create medicine for genetic disorders and diseases. And studying engineering will give me the skills necessary to do so. It will also provide me with opportunities that I would not have been afforded otherwise, such as traveling abroad again or helping others and learning to create medicine and medical devices. Also, it aligns with my character traits. To be an engineer, you need to seek challenges and also seek to improve yourself. And that's myself. And of course, I'll be able to help others, which is the main goal of mine. Next. There's also the perk of a high entry-level salary if you study engineering. And as you can see, which I'll be studying chemical engineering, I make roughly $67,000 at an entry-level position. Next. So chemical engineering. What is it? I'd be conducting research, experimenting labs, using chemistry, biology, and mathematics. And as I said before, chemistry is my favorite subject. And from the picture here, you can see I'll fit right in. Next. Genetic engineering. Why do I want to do it? As I stated before, I want to create medicines for genetic disorders and diseases. But what is it? It started taking off in the 1970s, but roughly five years ago, a new method called CRISPR-Cas9 took off. It's basically an innovation in which DNA is modified or replaced. The bad DNA is replaced with good DNA, meaning the DNA that's detrimental to the organism is replaced with synthetic DNA that's created in the lab that's supposed to heal or help treat that organism. It's the combination of genetics and biotechnology. Innovation. Next. So what can you do with chemical engineering? You can create vaccines, chemotherapies, other things such as that. But what can you do with genetic engineering? Well, you can use the CRISPR method or the CRISPR-Cas9 method, as I stated, to genetically modify plants so they're not susceptible to disease or dying. You can also use it in humans so to improve hearing in deaf people or in d to help treat diseases. But what will I do? Well, I'll combine the two. I'm going to combine chemical engineering and genetic engineering to create medicine and medical devices for genetic disorders and diseases and my impact on society will be to help and or cure the world. Thank you for your time today.